I'm yes. sure you've heard the Fantastic Four news this week. Mm -hmm. Apparently, this is a lock, these four cast members. Uh -huh. Michael Jordan, the basketball player. Incorrect. Michael B. Jordan, the basketball player. Also incorrect, but you're getting there. Basketball. No, go back the other <laughs> way. Michael B. Jordan, the actor. He'll be Johnny Storm. Uh-huh. Uh, I think of the casting choices, I think that's the best one. Mm. I know people are like, oh, he's African-American, doesn't work, whatever. But uh, I think it's good because it'll annoy people. Yeah, that's right, exactly, yeah. Uh, so, we don't know if him and... Sue Storm. Sue Storm, my brother and sister. I mean, maybe the ones they adopted. They could be adopted, yeah. Yeah, yeah. maybe it. they're from, you know. But uh, Kate Mara, she's in House of Cards. Okay, sure. She is Sue Storm. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't like this. I don't know why. She's just fine, I right. guess. But you know what? It's because that's, that's all anyone can say about Sue Storm casting. Yeah. It's either terrible or it's fine. Yeah, well, yeah. that's it. Miles Teller uh -huh. as Mr. Fantastic. Uh-huh. First of all, why is Mr. Fantastic the only one with Fantastic in his superhero name? Because he's really, really up himself. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think that's pretty much it. He could probably physically do that as well. With mm. his stretchy yeah, tail. definitely. Just get could. right up himself. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I'm not sure about this guy. He's kind of got a weird kind of, I don't know, soft face. <laughs> he looks very young, yeah. Yeah, he looks very young. But hey. but he's, he's a, from what I've seen, he's a decent actor. Yeah, yeah. And he could be like a, you know, a arrogant young genius kind of thing. Can you see the grey in his hair? Can you see the grey temples? Uh, I think it'll look very artificial. And the last one is really strange. Uh-huh. Jamie Bell, he was Billy Elliot. He was in Jumper. Was he in Jumper? He wasn't. He's the he's like the rogue Jumper. He's Jumper's mate. Yeah, Jumper's mate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, he was he was the mocap Tintin. He was the mocap. He he wore the ping pong balls. Yeah. Okay. All right. He's Ben Grimm. Um, I'll tell you why it's okay and not okay. Yes. Unless you want to say something. Well, he doesn't look like I always picture Ben Grimm, human Ben Grimm. Yeah. As kind of like your your bruiser, like, like yeah, Michael Chiklis. Like, yeah, like exactly, exactly <laughs> like Michael Chiklis. Before I even knew who Michael Chiklis was, <laughs> that's how I imagined a human thing, a human Ben Grimm. Yeah, yeah. exactly. He, it won't matter when it's mocap. Yeah. Right. Andy Serkis played King Kong. Andy Serkis isn't really a giant ape. No, that's true. So that we know about. That what are you hiding from us, Hollywood? <laughs> But as, I mean, obviously they'd probably show him pre-accident, yeah, which would be a bit strange because he's, I looked up his height, not that height matters in movies because people are like, Batman should be at least 6'2 exactly or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. He's like 170 centimetres, mm -hmm. which isn't very tall. Put that in the Imperial. A, yep. How many feet and inches is that? That's 1,000 yards. <laughs> oh, that'll do. That'll yeah. definitely do it. Yeah. I don't know. I mean... People uh, did not like it, most of the majority of this casting. I've looked up the origin of the Fantastic Four, like the, the origin panels. Johnny Storm's like, I'm calling myself a human torch and I'm with you all the way. And they do that. They all put their hands in. Is his hand on fire when he puts no, his hand No, he's put in? it out. He's put it okay, out. Okay, good. Same goes for me. The invisible girl. Ben Grimm's like, I Did she say invisible girl or invisible woman? Invisible girl. She becomes the invisible woman later. Because that's a big point of contention with this as well. People are saying, how dare they call her an invisible girl? That's an insult. She's a woman. Mm, she's but all woman. Initially, she was the invisible girl. There you go. I didn't know yeah. that. Anyway. Because I don't read comics from the 60s because they're shit. That's a really good point. Uh, I ain't Ben anymore. I'm what Susan called me, The Thing. So that's, that's uh -huh. sad for him. Then Reed Richards is like... Wait, Susan called him The Thing? Yep. That's really mean. Yeah. He just had a well, horrible accident. Well, that's it's all. like someone lose their legs and they're like, yeah. where to go, Stumpy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to call you Stumpy I mean, first now. she calls him like a like an ugly orange rock skin real prick. But then <laughs> she, and then he's like, and I'll call, my, Reed Richards like, and I'll call myself Mr. Fantastic. So really kick, really put the boot in. <laughs> like, oh, I'm a monster. Oh, I'm Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> so. There you go. Yeah. We've all learned something today. Mm. So would you recommend that issue? Issue one of the Fantastic Four? Um, probably not. <laughs> just just look up Fantastic Four Origin on Google, and all it will be it'll appear in front of your very eyes. Absolutely, you mm. could use this as an audio commentary as well as you're reading that paddle. Yes, please do. <laughs> okay, well, look, Mason. The, people hate Fox the, yep. because they they have the Fantastic Four. They will never give it back. No. Why would they? It, it makes it, some it makes, money. It makes some money exactly. If they gave it to Marvel, Marvel would would. Probably turn out something really great, I'd imagine. Mm -hmm. Not to say that this won't turn out great. Who's to say, Mason? I'm going to put my foot down and say it won't be great. <laughs> okay, what sure. Are the, the odds are stacked against it, certainly. <laughs> You're right. Uh, a good director, though. But anyway. Do we know who's directing it? Josh Drag, Chronicle. Oh, yeah, okay. But they did give back Daredevil and some other stuff as well. Mm. But I think The Punisher and... I think they they stole like a bowl of fruit, which they were forced to return. <laughs> oh, wow. Was it, yeah. it was wax fruit, too. <laughs> well, yeah. That's the, the only reason they gave it back. Because yeah. a Fox executive, executive was like... Just munching down on it. He's like, wait a minute. <laughs> and he took a couple more bites and he's this like... This isn't a superhero movie. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I've been eating wax fruit. <laughs> Where does this podcast go, Mason? I don't know. Red hot com-